Hi everybody, this is AutoTech Pro. Today we're installing 2013 Ford Edge. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the system and also the feature that come with the system. Let's talk about this hardware specification of the system first. This is the newest version of the PX6. It comes with 4 gigabit of RAM and 64 gigabit of storage memory. It also comes with 12.1 inches high definition screen. It's fully compatible with all the steering wheel control. And also you can see that the steering wheel control is fully compatible and original camera too. And this one also fully compatible with the climate control too. Okay, if your car comes with the Sony amplifier, it's also fully compatible with the Sony amplifier as well. Okay, this system also comes with the off-night GPS, wireless Apple CarPlay, Wi-Fi, and Android Auto as well. So let's start from the navigation. This is the off-night navigation here. In order to use the navigation, you just need to click on the bottom right corner here and then click on the new road. Okay, and then you can enter the address way here all right this one also come the traffic update for this navigation software however if you want to use the traffic update information then you need to uh, connect to the wi-fi so other than the built-in navigation you will also have the will also preload the uh, google map this is the newest version of the google map okay so what's the difference between the newest version and the older version the newest version provide with the offline map feature click on the icon right here and then offline map select your own map and then you can download the map data to the unit so next time when you use the system you can use the google map without connecting to the wi-fi okay you can choose the whole toronto area just download all right because the system comes with the uh, 64 gigabyte, so the whole map is is not that big. Okay, so um, other than that, you can also connect. Once you connect to the Wi-Fi, you can also watch the YouTube. This is the YouTube way right here. It's very nice. And other than that, you can also download the Netflix. Okay, you can also watch the Netflix here. It's a big screen. All right, it's high definition as well. You can also uh, use the Google uh, the um, internet browser. And other than that, you can also download the movie to the USB and then you can also play that on the system as well. Superhuman. It's very nice, right? Okay, other than that, you can also... Let's try the temperature control. The temperature control is right here. Okay, you can also adjust. It also support the dual zone. You can adjust the, tem uh, the temperature on the driver's side and the passenger side separately all right and uh, all the cooling seat is fully compatible you can see that if your car come the cooling seat you will also support the cooling seat too okay so it's very nice okay you also support the backup camera too okay and then we can this is the reverse here all right so you can if your car does not come with a uh, original camera we can also install the backup camera for you too this car also comes with sony amplifier this one also support the sony amplifier as well this is the radio right here okay this system also support the equalizer okay when you click on this one you will also see it come with the dsp right here okay you can adjust the all the sound quality right here it depends on your personal preference okay but don't do anything if you are not quite sure what you're doing okay so if um so if you mess up with the setting and there's no sun okay the first thing you will need to do is to reset it okay you can also adjust this one you can see you will adjust the sound quality of each channel all right so just reset you first okay and then other than that i'm gonna show you how to use the apple carplay all right this one also support the wireless apple carplay and android auto all right so i'm gonna show you okay first of all in order to use the wireless apple carplay you will need to use the bluetooth to connect to the system all right so first of all go to your bluetooth and then connect to the bluetooth okay the bluetooth device you can check it from here it's called bt dash 3b 3f okay so different system will come with different device name okay and then once you finish and then you can go here to go to c link all right hey you will also need to grant authorization of the cell uh, of the car play you will see use car play you need to grant authorization here Okay, this is the Apple CarPlay, all right? How to use the Apple CarPlay? This one also supports the newest version of the iOS 15, okay? So you also support the split screen feature here. You can also listen to the music right here. Come on, Bruce tonight. Can you be here for a family picture? It wouldn't listen for the world. All right, it's very nice, okay? You will also, you can also use the, um, um, 
is the uh, navigation from the phone you can also check all your message where he's very smooth and it's wireless all right you can also use the spotify uh whatsapp you know anything okay this one also support the voice control it support the siri how to use the siri just hold the bottom left corner bring me to the gas station okay here's what i found okay or maybe you can also use the voice control what's the temperature today the high temperature for today will be six degrees okay perfect you can of course you can also use the siri to make the phone call okay if you want to go back to the original menu you can just click on car and then you will bring you to the original menu all right so i'm gonna show you how to disconnect the apple carplay and right now for example you want to connect to another cell phone okay or maybe you want to connect to the wi-fi hotspot just like what i uh, mentioned okay the wireless apple carplay they just use the bluetooth to pair but once you get paired the system will automatically switch to wi-fi that means you cannot watch the youtube at the same time because apple carplay they don't have this feature for the youtube okay so how to do that you can just go to the uh setting right here and then search car play you can search car play on the search menu and then this is the device for the system okay just click on this one turn off all right you don't need to forget it just turn off and then you can do whatever you want you can turn on the wi-fi hotspot on the cell phone and connect to the system okay do not just turn do, do not just connect to the wi-fi while you are still connecting to the apple carplay if you do it like this way then you will mess up with the connection if you mess up no problem you can still reset the system okay how to reset the system just go to setting right here and then just go to use a manual and then use a setting and then scroll down to all the way to the bottom and there's a save and reboot okay so once you reboot that uh, the system and then you can follow my procedure again and then you will be fine okay so other than that this system is very nice and uh, you can also download any of the application from the google app store okay you can download the Netflix, uh, prime video anything all right so this system can also be purchased from my website www.autotapro.com if you guys have any question about this system please contact us autotapro thank you very much for watching i will see you in the next video bye bye